Hello, <coughs> my name is Kishwani. S K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the GRE Official Guide, fourth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Always make sure that this book is in front of you when we're working together. Today we'll solve two very simple, very straightforward problems that you will find on page number 184. The first problem is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. It's very straightforward, very simple as I just said. We are being asked to compare 54% 50, of 360 versus 150. Well, we, we know that we know that half of 360 is already 180. If half of 360 is already 180, which is more than 150, then whatever the 54% is, we don't need to figure it out. We don't we really don't care what the bloody hell it is. But 54% obviously is going to be even more than 180. The answer is A. If half is more than 150, then 54% obviously is going to be much more than that. Let's look at the next problem. Next problem is a geometry problem. I have to draw a picture as best as I can. Problem number four. So the picture that is given to us looks something like this. P, Q, R, and S. And we have further told that P, Q is equal to P to R. In other words, this side, P to Q, is same as P to R. Here's the question. The question is, which column is bigger? Column A, which is the distance from P to S, or column B, which is S to R? Well, we must always keep in mind, we must always keep in mind that the pictures that appear on the GRE, all the pictures that appear on the GRE, are not drawn to scale, unless the problem tells you in the caption underneath it that it is drawn to scale or if it gives you some specific information about the picture just like here it tells you that PQ is equal to PR but the fact that PQ is equal to QR rather the PQ is equal to PQ is equal to PR is actually of no importance to us it plays no role it is superfluous it's unneeded it's unwanted and unrequired unnecessary it is gratuitous what we are interested in is this distance a distance from here to here, P to S versus S to R. And because of the fact that the picture is draw, picture is not drawn to scale, we really don't know where this is. So if you follow my stick here, it's sitting right now here. Because it's not drawn to scale, we don't know. Maybe in reality it's here. Maybe, maybe it's just like this when it's drawn to scale. Or maybe it's sitting like this. In which case, in this case, this, let's call it S1, this will become S2, S3. If it's S1, the way, again, it is also, if P to, P to S1 and S to Q1 are, it, I was about to say they look equal, but then again, you can't go by the look. Okay, this ain't a, this ain't a beauty contest. We can't really tell. Who knows? I'm making too much fuss about it. The answer is D. You can't really tell. It, we don't know where, where this stick is sitting. If it's sitting here, then P to S, of course, is very little compared to S to R. If it's somewhere it's straight, exactly in the middle, they're going to be equal. Or if it's here, then S to R is going to be very little, and P to S is going to be very large. Answer can be either A, B, or C. Correct answer is D. That's all. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Remember, it ain't a beauty contest. You can't go by the looks. Bye now.